Good afternoon, and in this video we're going to talk about Naismith's rule. William Naismith, he was a Scottish mountaineer, he was born in 1856 and he died in 1935. He spent pretty much all his life up in Scotland, climbing the hills up there, and he did a lot. So much so that he actually became one of the founders of the Scottish Mountaineering Club. And during his time, he devised this, this rule that we've come up with now, this, this Naismith's rule, uh, to help us judge timings when we're out, out in the mountains and we can use his rule, his guideline, uh, to, to, to work out you know, how long it's going to take, basically, to get from A to B. So Naismith's rule, what is it? Well, for starters, it's not really a rule, it's more of a guideline. He proposed that, uh, that it would take one hour to walk three miles. That's on the flat with somebody walking at an average pace with average level of fitness. He also proposed that you would have to add an extra hour of time for every 2,000 feet that you ascended and that you wouldn't have to make any changes to your time if you were coming down a hill. So this rule is all well and good, but we are way past miles and feet Okay, in our mapping, we're very much uh, in the metric system now and we're using kilometers and meters. So what we need to do now is change this over and it's very simple. So the one hour to do three miles now becomes one hour to do five kilometers. And you would add one hour for every 600 meters of ascent. Still no change for when you're coming downhill. All right, so what I've done here to make things a little bit more easier for you guys to understand is I've wrote all this stuff here and we're just going to talk a little bit more about it. Naismith's rule. So on the flat ground, somebody with, uh, with an average level of, uh, of fitness, okay, walking at an average pace, it's going to take one hour to walk five kilometers. Now we're going to break this down even more. This equates to 12 minutes to walk one kilometer. The reason this is important to know is because on your maps, from one grid line to the next is a kilometer. So we know that if we're walking from one edge to the other edge of that grid square, it's gonna take us 12 minutes average, as long as it's flat ground. Now for climbing, these are the times that we need to add for the amount of ascent that we're doing. So we would need to add one hour for every 600 meters of ascent that we're doing on our walk. And we're gonna break that down even more. So we'd add 10 minutes for every 100 meters of ascent that we're gonna be doing. We're gonna break it down even more. We're gonna add one minute for every 10 meters of ascent. Now this one is the one to pay attention to. If you're using an ordnance survey map and you check the contour interval, and it's at 10 meters. So those orange contour lines is 10 meters between each one of those. As long as you're going up, you can literally just count those contour lines and add it in minutes. If you're going down, then don't make any change. So if we're walking one kilometer and we're gonna cross four contour lines at a contour interval of 10 meters over the distance of that one kilometer, Okay, it's gonna be 12 minutes to walk one kilometer, and then we're gonna add four minutes because of the four contours to that. So we can now work out that it's gonna take roughly 16 minutes to walk from A to B. So I hope all this makes, uh, makes a bit of sense to you. Uh, it's, it's a very simple rule, and we use it a lot when we're planning our routes. So now next time when you go out, and you're walking from A to B, instead of just looking at the map blindly, you can actually start working out now using Naismith's rule and start planning and give it a go. Just go out there, try and be like, okay, from A to B, I think using Naismith's rule, it's gonna take this length of time. So you might have a very good level of fitness, so you could be walking faster than the average pace. Or you might have an injury, so you're not walking so fast at the moment, so you're gonna be walking a bit slower. So things like that you need to bear in mind and then you can change it. Um, so yeah, there we go. Naismith's rule. Hope you enjoyed the video guys and I'll see you soon in the next video. Take care.